actually, I'm going to have, since you're right there, sit right there. The rest of you come up and sit in the next row. Well, they got to sit by you. You either got to squeeze in by your cousins or you got to sit by Nita. Your choice. You're going to sit by <laughs>
so the reason I really like this guy is because, one, he really revolutionized the sport of wrestling, but he's also a great coach, and he really pours a lot of good stuff into the athletes that he coaches. And he teaches them not just good stuff about wrestling, but he teaches them good stuff about how to deal in life. And one of the, two of the things that I love most about it is that he coaches them that they need to have a relationship with God, and that that relationship with God is important not just on the wrestling mat, but in their life. And he also teaches people, he also teaches his athletes that they need to be grateful for the opportunities that they have. And so every time, if you listen to any of the Penn State wrestlers go out there, they're probably going to tell you, you know, I'm just thankful that I had the opportunity to be out on the mat tonight and to, you know, a lot of them say, to witness to Jesus Christ for my ability to be out here and wrestle. So that's one of the reasons why I really like this guy, and I think he's a great role model. Now, we all probably know who this is, right? Yes! So that is a picture of Jesus, and obviously he should be a role model for all of us. Not just you little folks, but some of you, for all of us big folks as well. Because really our whole life should be based on trying to do the things that Jesus did, right? Trying to love each, love each other as Jesus loved, try to do nice things for, for people. Alright, so those are the pictures I have. But I want to tell you really quickly about somebody who was really special to me. And this, this person was a really close mentor. And she was my grandma. Okay? And so I, I learned a lot about God from my grandmother. And she taught me a lot about what it, was, what it was like to be a Christian. She taught me a lot about how I should act in church and how the church works and the things I should do. Okay? So now, quick. Who are your role models? Do you have any? Parents? That's a really good one. Because yes, they are role models. Who else? Jesus, that's another good one. Grandparents. Okay, so those are... Yes, those are really good ones. All right, so here I got an assignment for you for next week. So you, I want you to find some other role models besides family. Okay, family I think are the best role models we can have. But I want you to come with at least one person that you think you can use for a role model that's not a family member. But then I also want you to talk to your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas about who their role models are. So you have to talk to your, yeah, you have to talk to mom and dad and grandma and grandpa about who their role models are and ask them why they like those people that they follow, okay? Can you do that? Sticky hands. <laughs> All right. So let me just pray over you guys and then you're free to go back. Well, Cashin's free to go back and sit with his mom and dad. The rest of you are right here, so. Dear Gracious Lord, we just thank you for these young disciples, and Lord, we just pray that you will fill their lives with positive role models. Lord, that they will continue to grow and learn and develop in their faith, and that this church will just completely surround them and nurture them as they grow. Be with each one as they go about their week, whether it's at school or at home or at daycare or whatever, just be with them and help 